Okay, today I'm going to be crushing Cheerios to extract iron and make ferrofluid. So if you look on the back of a lot of cereals, you can see that they contain iron. So this iron that it contains is actually metallic iron. So they put little ground up bits of iron in the Cheerios and they call it fortified with iron. So my goal here is to extract that iron using my hydraulic press to crunch up the Cheerios and then a super magnet to pull out the iron from the crunched up Cheerios. So you know, I could just use my hands to crunch up these Cheerios, but where's the fun in that? Let's crush them in my press first. Okay, Cheerios in a hydraulic press to extract iron and make ferrofluid. Three, two, one. Probably made a hard crust of them. Okay, so that's what I want right there. Okay, I've got my crunched up Cheerios in my bag here. If you don't have a hydraulic press, just crunch up the Cheerios really well. Put them in a bag, pour some water in it. And then what I get is my super strong neodymium magnet. So it's very strong, has a couple hundred pounds pull force, which means if you put it on a metal plate, it'd take a few hundred pounds to pull it off. So I'm gonna use this magnet to pull all the iron particles out of these Cheerios. So I'll just start rubbing it against the bag. Should very soon start seeing some particles in there. So you can see the iron in the back now. These are very small particles of iron. Before they were distributed in all of the Cheerios, but now I pulled them out. I'm gonna to try to get them out of the bag now. Okay, now I've cut the end with my iron in it. Let's see what it looks like. All right, so there's my iron particles now. So what I'm gonna try to do now is put a little bit of oil mixture with them and see if we can make some ferrofluid. Okay, so right here I've got my homemade ferrofluid and then over here I've got a real ferrofluid that I purchased. Okay, first here's my ferrofluid. I'm moving the magnet underneath it. So I think the biggest thing here is that I can tell that the particles of iron in the Cheerios are actually pretty big particles relatively compared to normal ferrofluid. Homemade ferrofluid meets real ferrofluid. <laughs> that looks cool. <laughs> They're all one big happy family now. Hi, thanks for watching again. Remember to leave me any comments in the comments section with what you'd like to see get crushed next or what you'd like to see me put in my vacuum chamber even. And you can send me stuff to my P.O. box. So I got a package from Konstantin in Bulgaria. He built this cool little, looks pretty structurally sound toothpick structure and he wanted to see me crush it in my hydraulic press, so I thought I'd go ahead and do it and see how it holds up. I was pretty impressed with the structural soundness of it. It held up all the way from Bulgaria to America. Okay, pyramid of toothpicks in a hydraulic press. Three, two, one. Wow, that held up pretty good. 
Yeah, that's pretty impressive. That held up pretty good. There we go. Pyramid structure, crushing a hydraulic press.